Over the past few years, Windsor Essex has played host to a number of different film productions. You may recall The Birder with Theodore Bazaire last year. And more recently, The Scare House just had its theatrical release locally. Now add another to that growing list. Rich Garten joins us with the story. Oh, Jim, they're on a bit of a roll, and they're at it again. Shooting of the latest flick in the Rose City has just wrapped. It features a mostly Canadian cast boasting an impressive list of accolades, including a prominent downtown business playing a very prominent role. It's not Windsor's first kick at the can, but producers say the performance should be considered the best film shot in Essex County to date. We've never ever had this caliber. This is the most talent we've ever had in a movie in Windsor. The cast is loaded. Critically acclaimed actors, including Gemini Award winner Art Hindle, Hollywood starlets Dominique Swain and Sienna Guillory, Genie Award winner Nick Mancuso, and Academy Award nominee Graham Greene. A very performance-driven, um, very, it's like a, a play come to life on the screen. Nick Mancuso stars as Victor Moore, an experienced actor about to perform his final stage role. But as he prepares for his swan song, his past life comes back to haunt him. We've had the call cut a couple times because uh, the AD started crying, so that has happened. I mean, even the actors that have done this hundreds of times are saying this movie has every right to be around during awards season. But it's not just the actors in the spotlight. The set should be a familiar sight. The Capitol Theater is one of the characters in our in our story and uh, an important part of it. Uh, and uh, we use all of it. From the lobby to dressing and makeup rooms, the seats and, of course, the stage, the entire 15-day shoot took place inside Windsor's iconic Capitol Theater, one of the main reasons the city was a choice location to film. We needed a... Um a theater that looked a certain way to match the story. It had to be smaller, and it had to be sort of that beautiful Art Deco sort of adornment. Reese Trenhale, who produces and also acts in the flick, <laughs> says half the crew members working on the set are also local. And I think now that you have a critical mass of talented people that also have a certain work ethic to get, um, a, you know, like a cottage film television is reestablished in Windsor. It's not stupid to think. So if Halifax can do it and Susie Marie can, then why can't we? The performance is directed by Stephen Wallace, who also wrote the screenplay. Now, as I mentioned, the shooting has just wrapped, so the film isn't expected out for some time yet, but producers are hoping it's finished in time for the 2015 Film Festival circuit. It says great things about Windsor, and we've got the uh, Windsor International Film Festival just this weekend. That's right. Movie business is getting big in Windsor. Show business. Thank you, Richard. That's Gardner. right. Thanks.